power. It is an intoxicating elixir, one that has fueled the ambitions of humankind since the dawn of civilization. But history whispers a cautionary tale, for the very force that elevates can also corrupt. As Lord Acton so aptly articulated in 1887, power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. It is a chilling truth, one etched in the annals of time, that the unchecked accumulation of power often leads to its abuse. In the grand tapestry of human history, we find countless examples of leaders who, initially driven by noble intentions, succumb to the corrupting influence of unchecked authority. From the sun-drenched shores of ancient Rome to the sprawling metropolises of the modern era, the allure of power has proven a potent and often destructive force. Join me now as we journey through time, retracing the footsteps of history's most powerful figures to unravel the complexities of power and its intoxicating, often devastating effects. We will delve into the lives of individuals who rose to unimaginable heights, only to be consumed by the very power they wielded. Through their stories, we hope to illuminate the timeless lessons that history offers, reminding us that true leadership lies not in the pursuit of absolute power, but in its responsible and ethical stewardship. Our journey begins amidst the grandeur and brutality of ancient Rome, a society grappling with the complexities of power and ambition. Gaius Julius Caesar, a brilliant military strategist and charismatic leader, rose to prominence through his cunning and ruthlessness. He secured victory after victory for Rome, expanding its borders and consolidating his own authority. The Roman Senate, once a bastion of Republican values, found itself increasingly sidelined as Caesar amassed power, ultimately declaring himself dictator for life. This consolidation of power, however, sowed the seeds of discontent and fear. Whispers of tyranny echoed through the Senate chambers, anxieties heightened by Caesar's growing cult of personality. To many, he had become a threat to the very fabric of Roman society, a living embodiment of the dangers of unchecked ambition. On the Ides of March, a group of senators, believing themselves to be acting in defense of the Republic, took matters into their own hands. As Caesar entered the Senate that fateful day, he was met not with adulation, but with cold steel. The daggers of his assassins, including his close friend Brutus, brought a bloody end to his reign, a stark reminder that absolute power often faces absolute opposition. Caesar's assassination serves as a cautionary tale from the annals of history, illustrating the precarious nature of power and the ever-present danger of its abuse. From the ashes of the Roman Republic, we travel centuries forward to the opulent court of Louis XIV, the Sun King of France. Louis, believing himself to be chosen by God to rule, embodied the concept of the divine right of kings. His reign was one of unparalleled splendor and extravagance. He transformed the hunting lodge at Versailles into a palace of unparalleled grandeur, a shimmering symbol of his absolute authority. Louis's court became a stage for lavish balls, elaborate etiquette, and a never-ending display of wealth and power. This extravagance, however, came at a steep price. The French treasury, already strained by Louis's numerous wars and territorial ambitions, buckled under the weight of his opulent lifestyle. The plight of the French peasantry, burdened by heavy taxation and neglected by their king, stood in stark contrast to the opulence of Versailles. While Louis basked in the gilded cage of his own making, discontent simmered amongst the masses. The seeds of revolution were sown, a testament to the fact that even a king, claiming divine right, could not escape the consequences of his actions. Louis XIV's reign, Though seemingly invincible, ultimately underscores the unsustainable nature of power detached from the needs and well-being of the governed. The French Revolution, a tumultuous period of social and political upheaval, swept away the old order and paved the way for a new era. From the chaos emerged Napoleon Bonaparte, a brilliant military strategist who promised stability and glory. His early years in power were marked by significant reforms, 
including the establishment of the Napoleonic Code, a legal system that promoted equality and justice. Napoleon's military genius was undeniable, his victories on the battlefield expanding French influence across Europe. Yet as Napoleon's power grew, so too did his ambition. The very ideals he had initially championed, those of liberty and equality, were gradually eclipsed by his insatiable thirst for conquest. Europe became a battleground as Napoleon's armies clashed with those of his rivals in a series of bloody conflicts. The Napoleonic Wars, while initially fueled by the promise of a new order, ultimately left a trail of devastation and suffering in their wake. Napoleon's empire, built on military might and fueled by unchecked ambition, crumbled as swiftly as it had risen. His exile to the remote island of St. Helena served as a stark reminder that absolute power, no matter how brilliantly wielded, is often a double-edged sword. Across the centuries and continents, another figure rose to embody the perils of absolute power. From the ashes of the Russian Revolution emerged Joseph Stalin, a man of steel will and ruthless ambition. Stalin consolidated his power through a system of fear and control, eliminating his rivals and transforming the Soviet Union into a totalitarian state. Under his iron-fisted rule, dissent was ruthlessly crushed, freedom of speech became a distant memory, and the very concept of individual liberty was sacrificed at the altar of the state. Stalin's paranoia knew no bounds. He orchestrated the Great Purge, a period of mass terror in which millions of Soviet citizens were persecuted, imprisoned, and executed based on flimsy accusations and fabricated charges. Forced labor camps, known as gulags, became synonymous with Stalin's reign, places of unimaginable suffering where millions perished from starvation, disease, and overwork. Stalin's quest for absolute control transformed a nation into a prison a stark reminder of the human cost of unchecked power. His legacy serves as a chilling testament to the horrors that can unfold when power is concentrated in the hands of a single individual, unchecked by law or conscience. From the depths of economic despair and political turmoil, a charismatic leader emerged in Germany, promising national rejuvenation and a return to former glory. Adolf Hitler, a master of propaganda and manipulation, exploited the vulnerabilities of a nation reeling from defeat in World War I and the humiliation of the Treaty of Versailles. He offered scapegoats and fueled existing prejudices, igniting the flames of nationalism and anti-Semitism. Step by step, Hitler consolidated his power, dismantling democratic institutions and establishing a totalitarian regime. The Nazi party, with its chilling ideology of Aryan supremacy and racial purity, became the sole arbiter of truth and justice. Dissent was silenced, freedom of expression brutally suppressed, and the very fabric of German society torn apart by fear and suspicion. The world watched in horror as Hitler's regime unleashed the horrors of the Holocaust, a systematic campaign of genocide that resulted in the murder of six million Jews and millions of others deemed undesirable by the Nazi state. Hitler's reign stands as a stark warning from history, a chilling reminder of the catastrophic consequences of unchecked power and the seductive allure of hatred and intolerance. His legacy serves as a haunting reminder of the importance of vigilance, compassion, and the unwavering defense of human rights. In the aftermath of World War II, a new power emerged in the East, one led by a revolutionary leader who promised a utopian future. Mao Zedong, a communist ideologue, seized control of China after a protracted civil war, ushering in an era of radical transformation. Mao's vision for China was one of a classless society, free from the shackles of imperialism and feudalism. He launched the Great Leap Forward, a utopian experiment aimed at rapidly transforming China into an industrial powerhouse. This grand vision, however, was built on a foundation of coercion and brutality. Millions of peasants were forced from their ancestral lands and herded into communes, their lives and livelihoods sacrificed at the altar of Mao's utopian dream. 
The Great Leap Forward, far from achieving its lofty goals, resulted in one of the deadliest famines in human history. Tens of millions of Chinese citizens perished from starvation as a direct result of Mao's policies, a tragic testament to the dangers of ideological rigidity and the human cost of unchecked power. Mao's reign, though initially fueled by noble intentions, ultimately highlights the perils of utopian dreams pursued without regard for human life or individual liberty. His legacy serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that even the most well-intentioned revolutions can be corrupted by power, leading to unimaginable suffering and the betrayal of their own ideals. As we reflect on the lives and legacies of these powerful figures, we are reminded of Lord Acton's words, power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. From the grandeur of Rome to the turmoil of the 20th century, history offers a sobering lesson in the dangers of unchecked ambition and the corrosive effects of absolute power. The individuals we have explored, though vastly different in their backgrounds and ideologies, shared a common thread. Each succumbed to the intoxicating allure of power, their reigns ultimately marred by suffering, injustice, and the erosion of the very values they initially sought to uphold. To those who hold positions of power today, let the lessons of history serve as a guide. Embrace humility, for true leadership lies not in the pursuit of absolute authority, but in the selfless service of others. Govern with integrity, remembering that power is a privilege, not a right, and that accountability is the cornerstone of a just society. And above all, learn from the mistakes of the past, for only by understanding the pitfalls of unchecked power can we hope to create a future where it is wielded responsibly, ethically, and for the betterment of all. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. May the lessons we have learned together inspire us all to strive for a world where power is a force for good, not a tool of oppression.